What's up guys, Nick here again from CPAP Reviews. Thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. Uh, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about CPAP batteries, in particular, the new Medistrom Pilot Light series, which has taken over from the Pilot Plus. So it's pretty much the same thing, but just smaller and lighter. So they've managed to keep the same capacity, so the same great battery, but they've just shrunk it down to make it really nice and small and light, so that it's very portable and very easy to carry wherever you're going. Um, but to start with, I know that everyone gets really confused about CPAP batteries, and I don't blame you. You throw in terms like AC, DC, inverter, converter, and all the different voltages and stuff like that, and everyone's brain just sort of explodes. So I, it's understandably very confusing. But I'm going to try and um, I'm going to try and make it simple for you, uh, if I can, to help you understand uh, your machine, what voltage it is. And if you're looking to get a battery, what you need to get, and maybe the optional extras that you might look at getting as well. I'm also going to do some of the frequently asked questions that I get asked all the time. Um, I'm not, actually, I'm, I'm a pro at this. I know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's get to it, okay? So the first thing I want you to understand is what voltage your machine runs on, okay? So if you know what voltage your machine is, you know what voltage battery you need to go get, okay? So if you've got a 24 volt machine, you need to go get a 24 volt battery. If you've got a 12 volt machine, you go get a 12 volt battery, okay? So this is for Medistrop. So I'm gonna run with you the models so that you know what voltage they are so you don't have to go look it up. If you've got a ResMed, AirSense 10, Air Mini, S9, 24 volts. If you've got an S8, 12 volt. All right, already confused. All right, if you've got a Dream Station Go, so that's your little portable Dream Station, not your big Dream Station, Dream Station Go, 24 volts. The other 24 volts are the Apex ICH and the BMC Luna, all right? So they're all the 24 volt machines. So if you have a 24 volt one of those, you need to get a 24. 12 volt machines, pretty much all Philips machines are 12 volts apart from that little Dream Station Go one. So your Philips, you're pretty right. Your DeVilbus, and that's your Sleep Cube and your Blue Series 12 volt and your little portable Z1 12 volt machines. Whew, I think that's pretty much all the machines I can think of off the top of my head, okay? So that's your 12 volt versus 24 volt and that's what battery you need to get. So if you've got a 24 volt machine, 24. If you've got a 12 volt machine, you need to get the one that says Pilot 12 light, okay? That's first things first. Secondly, Depending on what machine you have, these packs only come with pretty much the newer um, machine cables in them. So if you've got older machines, um, you need to go and buy the little cable kits. I'm gonna put the cable kits and, and the different links into the description of this video. Um, and I'll tell you exactly what comes in them. So if you have a different machine, you can go and get the cable kit. They're not that expensive to buy, but it basically is just a cable kit to run and charge the battery for your device. All right, so let's have a look at this Pilot 24 Lite and um, have a bit of a sticky beak and compare it against the other one and talk a little bit about the specifications and stuff. And here it is. All right, so it's this really nice matte blue aluminium casing. All right, and there's your business end. So you've got there your charge, uh, your little um, on off button, your LED indicators, little flashlight, USB output, really handy, and then your DC output to run to your machine. Okay, so this is like 560 grams, it's, it's tiny. It's such a tiny little battery, but at the same time, this is the old one, I'll put them up side by side, the plus. You see how much smaller it is, they've managed to get the same capacity, so 97 watt hours, into this and keep it, you know, super small. I don't know how they did that, but they've done it. Um, so that just means it's just when you're traveling with it, it's so much lighter and easy to, to travel with. Um, so it does have that USB port, so you can charge your phones and your cameras and things like that if you've got them. So that's pretty handy to have, um, but obviously the main purpose of it is for your CPAP machine. Now, um, the main questions we get asked are, can you take it on a plane? Yes, you can. FAA approved. Um, and it's under 100 watt hours, which is most of the plane limits in terms of carrying on batteries. So you take it on with you, you take it on with your carry on and you can use your machine if you want to when you're going on a long haul flight or something like that. Uh, second time, how long does it take to charge the battery and how do I charge it? Uh, so if you're charging just with the normal charge that it comes with, uh, you're looking at two, three hours. You can charge it with a DC charger, which is an optional extra. Okay, you gotta buy that extra, but the DC charges from your car so you, or your caravan plugs into your cigarette port. 
um, three to four hours. So if you're driving around somewhere, you can charge it up while you're driving three to four hours. You might be a truckie or a, you know, like, like your motorbikes like I do. Um, and then you got your solar panel now. They're doing a 50 watt solar panel that you can buy and that'll take seven to eight hours to charge it. But you can throw it out in the sun, plug it in and she'll charge up seven, eight hours. So that's your charging times. Now, how long is it going to last in my machine? Oh, I really hate that question, okay? And the answer I'm going to give you is, might be a little bit boring, but this is it. So, uh, you're going to get a full night's use out of it, okay? So, you turn off your humidifier, you turn off your heater tube, you're going to get a full night use, and that means eight plus hours. Some of you on lower pressures are going to get upwards of two nights. Some of you on higher pressures might only get sort of eight or nine hours. Some of you might be in the middle there, but it's a single night battery up to multi-night, depending on what pressure you're on. And that's the best I'm going to give you with that, okay? So it's just too complicated. There's too many machines, too many different settings, um, too many C-Flex and A-Flex and all the other stuff to compute. That's where my head goes. <laughs> all right, but there you have it. Um, now, more questions that we have. Uh, how, many, how long does it last? So it's got a one-year warranty, but you're going to get 500 recharges before the cells start to die, okay? So these are industrial grade algae lithium ion cells, so it's the good quality stuff. Um, but like any battery system, if you're not using it often and you're leaving it in your drawer for years on end, it's gonna die. You need to get it out at least once every six months, charge it up, use it, you know, keep her going, keep those cells ticking over. Um, just like anything in life, if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's the same with battery systems. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. And if you're selling these battery systems as well, I don't know if any of you out there, maybe uh, resellers, you need to also do the same thing. So if you're not selling many of them, well, you should be, but if you're not, then you need to be charging them up because otherwise you're gonna be handing out that batteries to your customers. Um, where am I? So let's talk about what the packs come with and the optional extras, okay? Because that's really important. So the 24 light here comes with cables for the AirSense 10 and Air Mini. So that means if you've got those two machines, you're gonna be able to charge and discharge the battery. So charge it up and use it without buying anything extra. It's included. The only extras you might wanna buy are the DC charger or the solar panel, okay? So that's the charger by my car or the solar panel. Um, if you've got an S9, you need to buy a little cable kit for that. It's about $15 for the little cable to charge and discharge the battery, okay? If you've got a DreamStation Go or a BMC Luna, you're gonna have to buy the cable kit for those machines as well. That comes like packaged up, the, the DreamStation and the Luna in one little kit. And that I think is about 50 bucks off the top of my head, okay? Don't quote me, it might be a little bit more, a little bit less. All right, so that's the Pilot Light series done, all right? All the machines. Gone. If you've got the the Pilot 12 pack, so the Pilot 12 light, it comes with cables for the Dream, the Dream Station and the System 160 series. So your two latest Philips machines. If you have a DeVilbus machine a or a Z1 machine, you need to buy the cable pack. All those cables for those machines are bundled into one pack as well. I'll put them in the description again. You'll need to buy those cable pack. All right, to go with it. And then obviously the same optional extras on top of that as well, your DC charger, which is I think 45 bucks, and your 50 watt solar panel. That's a foldable solar panel. You can check out the pictures and the stuff on the website. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now, I'm gonna put, yeah, I've said it about a thousand times, but I'm gonna put the links in the description here. Once again, if you throw my name in when you're purchasing, you're gonna get 10% off the price. It's a really good place to buy because you can pretty much just click on one listing and you can add your bits and pieces instead of going around and trying to find them in different things. So one product, you go through and you go, yep, I've got the Z1, so I need the 12 volt and I need the, the Z1 uh, cable kit, plus I want to get a DC charge running from a motorbike while I'm traveling around Australia and I also want a solar panel because I'm going to chuck it in my backpack and when I'm out in the desert, I'm going to put it out there. All right, now I'm just trying to think of let me just check my notes here, if there's anything else I'm just thinking. Battery's 95 watt hour, 560 grams, aluminum casing. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Now, these are seriously the lightest batteries that you're gonna find. Um, like, like anything in CPAP, they're, you know, nothing's cheap, but um, you know, they're gonna last you a really long time. Oh, 
one thing to just one. You can use these plane, like use these when you're traveling around, obviously, but you can also use them. Say you're in an area that has high amount of voltage outages, blackouts and stuff. You can run them in series with your machine, which is essentially means that you run it between your power point. Power runs from your power point into the battery, then out of your battery into your machine. And if the power goes out, the battery will keep your machine going. So it just means you're not gonna get interruptions and stuff like that. And I know when sometimes people are traveling overseas to say Vanuatu and things like that, Sometimes the power is not that reliable and it can go out during the night. So if you've got this little battery, you can take it with you, you can use it on the plane, whatever, and then you can use it in your hotel or whatever. The power goes out, your machine's gonna keep ticking along and obviously you can charge up your phone and bits like that if you're hiking or backpacking and stuff like that. So pretty cool sort of stuff. But um, check out cpapbatteries.com.au. Uh, fantastic, you can pick up all this stuff, always in stock, really fast postage, um, uh, Australia-wide. But we don't ship anywhere else, just Australia wide. All right, and um, as always, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, um, thumbs up if you think I deserve it. If you don't, that's fine also. I am a Collingwood supporter, so maybe double thumbs up for you other Pyth fans out there. Congratulations on making the finals, and good luck to us next Saturday week over in the West versus West Coast. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go and have some lunch. Cheers, bye.